Arnold. Something unexpected has happened. Do you remember the movie The Devil's Double? The one where a rich boy forcibly turns another person into his double and then sends the clone instead of himself to dangerous meetings and stuff like that. So, yeah, we need you to help out one of my acquaintances. You'll replace Kim Jong-un for a day. Can you even imagine ruling a country with a population of 25 million people that obey, adore, and extol you, and only you? But, to be frank, they don't have a choice in the matter. Many things that most people see as normal over here are only allowed for you over there. For example, wearing clothes from the best European designers or eating Nutella. While you're engaged in important state affairs, your huge house is guarded by a platoon of armed soldiers, an electric fence, and a minefield. Even a nuclear explosion will be repelled by its walls, which are covered with lead rods. Now get ready, because we're going on a trip. Kim said that he wouldn't survive doing this for a second time, and it all looks pretty suspicious. So you're going instead. Your personal armored train starts its journey straight from this house. Its speed doesn't exceed 60 kilometers per hour due to the enormous weight of the cars, which are sheathed with armored plates. Just for today, all of this is in your possession. The harvest this year was quite unsuccessful, as you can see, and 10 million people may die from hunger, sure, but 15 million more will still remain. Guys, you'd better not go in there for about 20 minutes. Okay, fine, if that's for the state's security. Only the president can use the mobile toilet. All urine and stool samples are collected to monitor your health and make sure that no spy, God forbid, finds out about your illnesses. The best room in the whole city was rented just for you. And after leaving, no one will even think that the president stayed here. The security service doesn't leave a single fingerprint or hair from the glorious ruler. Everyone's already waiting for you. Say nothing. Just smile and wave your hand. I just knew that the U.S. president wouldn't send a meeting invitation on WhatsApp. Yeah.